Good morning guys and welcome to a new vlog. Ah, a hair vlog. I swear you guys always love my hair vlogs. I get the most views on them. You guys like comment a lot more on these videos. So today we are going to touch up my roots, which I'm super nervous about. I'm trusting mother with all of my life. I got the vlog uploading here, Monday's video. And now I am going to brush through my hair and get it all prepped to get dyed. Um, I haven't washed it in like two days. I should have waited another day, but my tripod's broken. I don't I don't know if I told you guys that, but it broke. It still works, but it's like one of the things is broken. I'll show you. That's why I'm a little bit lopsided. So we are going to part my hair down the middle. Is that the middle, Sherry? Is that like a straight middle part? Yes. Okay. Just make sure that little thing in the right here is completely that way. That's exactly middle. Okay. So basically what you do is you split your hair in the middle and you like make sure to brush it out completely. What mother's gonna do is she's gonna like start here and then peel it like an onion. Like that is the best way I can like describe it. Like what you do, I'll video her doing it and do kind of like a time lapse thing. But what you're gonna do is split the hair really thin sections and you're gonna flip it over like so. So pretend like you're peeling an onion and each layer is a little piece and then you should be good. Again, I use 20 volume developer. Um, a lot of people use 30, but I just, I'm kind of scared of like the higher levels because I just, I just am. And I rather not kill my head. I know bleaching it's not even good for your hair anyway, but somebody actually tweeted me and asked like, on the scale of one to 10, how damaged is your hair? For like hair in general, my hair would probably be on a five. The only reason why I have like a lot of split ends is because like I haven't gotten my hair cut in like a very long time. Other than that, it feels and looks healthy, but like I know it's definitely not healthy just because bleach is like super hard on your hair. You ready, mother? I am. This is the woman behind everything. I'm trusting her. Okay, so what we have is obviously the bleach. We got the 20 volume developer, the sensitive scalp one, a whisk bowl, clips for my hair, a brush, toner, uh, the hair cap. Yes, that's an important thing now, that helps the um, developer develop your hair. Now so the hair cap, if we use this, yeah, then you won't want to use it again for the toner because it'll have toner. You don't use a hair cap. Okay, great. Yeah. Okay. And we can use that twice, so we can save that and reuse it. Okay. We've used the other ones twice, so. Okay. And then we like made all of this bleach proof, kind of. Okay, Sherry, what have we discovered? We have one and a half ounces of this. We use the purple. Yes. Because it has the ounce thing on the side. Yes. Two and a half would make this five. So I'm gonna go ahead and put in five, because I know we'll need quite a bit. Yeah, we'll need a lot. So I'll put it in up to five. Okay. So that's two two portions. Yes. And then one and a half of this is about this kind of, this is one and a third, so I'm gonna put it in keeping to make it one and a half. Yep, so and how many are we gonna put? Two. Two. So I have two portions of this also. There you go. So we got everything all covered. Um, we touched up some of the spots that we missed like the last time we did this and the toner was kind of fading. We're going to wait for 42 minutes for this to process and then we're gonna rinse it. I am planning on toning today. If it's not light enough, it's okay. I'm still gonna tone it. If it is light enough, that's great. If it's not light enough, we're just gonna wait like again and then re-bleach it, but I'm definitely not gonna bleach in two days. I'm not gonna bleach back to back because that's so dangerous. Not dangerous, but it's bad for your hair. And um, but I am going to tone no matter what so yeah, that's the deal. Okay. We, we can do this in 11 minutes I got the, I My the eggs eggs are important. Yes. Okay. Okay, Wait. so we're getting let's do it over here um, Or okay. over there. Um, what do you way. want? Either way. That's fine. Okay. Either. Ready? Okay, 
Okay, so as you guys can see, it is, well, yeah, that's kind of um bad. We kind of missed that section, but you put a lot around the ear. I did. I put, so I don't I know like what's there. going on. So. But other than that, like, as you guys can see, there's some orangey patches, but I'm hoping that the toner will cancel that. Again, this is like our first time doing roots specifically. So just keep that in mind um, when you're judging us hard. Overall, it's pretty good. Good job, Sherry. Thank you. We're going to see how the toner lifts it. If it does, um, I'm, I have faith in it. So, you know, I did not incur any significant hair loss, which I'm happy about. Just wanted to update you guys. Oh, by the way, I am not a hair professional. Just wanted that to be stated. And neither am I. In the video. Obviously. <laughs> Obviously. All right. So let's let the toning begin. So one part developer, so if I put in two of this, four of that, that would get us up to six. Yep. Oh, it's only one ounce bottle. Hello. That's why they were on sale. Is it the size we got before? Yeah. Like in my other video, it just turns purple and then you apply the product. Ooh, careful, Sherry. Don't get a little too excited there. The smell of this is so strong. It's stronger than the, um, the bleach. We got all of the toner on it and this is what it looks like. It stings so bad, but you know, you gotta do what you gotta do. So I'm hoping this will help the roots. I'm really, really hoping. If it doesn't, it doesn't and I just have crazy roots. We shall see how this turns out. I leave it on for 30 minutes. Okay, so I don't know if you guys can tell, but my hair is super dark. Looks like that. We're gonna rinse this puppy on out. Okay guys, here's the grand reveal. We're both kind of nervous, nervous, but um, you know, if it has to be done again, it has to be done again. It'll still be better than looking at black roots. Black roots are very obvious. Oh, it's not bad. It's not bad from, oh yeah, the front. It's not bad. Let's see. Oh, hold on. Let me brush it out. Yeah. Um, mother's watching her show, but um, this is my roots. They look terrible, um, but we're gonna do them again, like later on before we go on our trip. Sorry, it's kind of loud. My mom just has the TV up pretty loud. My hair is kind of gray, but we're waiting for it to dry to see like the actual color. But overall, it's interesting. I don't know. I don't know how this is gonna go, guys. I don't know. Toner, never forget, always fades out. So it's not like my hair is gonna be like this color forever, you know? Okay, so here is my hair dry. It looks a lot whiter on camera. It's a little bit more gray in person, but um, the camera picks it up like exactly the way I want my hair to be. My roots need done once again because they're just like, they don't match the color of my hair. So that's probably what we're gonna do. I love my hair. The toner doesn't stay in like for a very long time, so it doesn't really matter. We touched up some of the splotchiness with bleach and everything's looking good. Yeah, oh my gosh, I love my hair, guys. I would never trade it for the world. Yeah, I thought I would just come on to end the vlog and give you a little update on the roots and with my hair all brushed out and looking good. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. See you in my next video, guys. Bye.